predominantly into product engineering and uh, high technology solutions. Uh, today we are uh, part of many Make in India projects as well as offset uh, contracts uh, supplying uh, system integrated uh, solutions for automated test equipment. Uh, this is majorly for European customers who are uh, again supplying back to Indian uh, armed forces. So uh, on the whole we are part of this global supply chain for the uh, European supply chain. So that's the kind of uh, activity that we are carrying out. Uh, apart from that, we have quite a few uh, electronic warfare systems and simulators uh, solutions that we have uh, already deployed for Indian armed forces, uh, predominantly on the border areas where uh, all these radars are simulated. And uh, the people who are managing, the armed forces who are actually managing the radar don't have to sit on the actual radar and get trained, uh, which is a pretty difficult task. So we have kind of simulated those things and uh, made sure that those simulated uh, are very close to the real life uh, experience and uh, they get trained on this at a very low cost uh, basis. So these are some of the solutions offerings that we have on the whole. As in India, uh, been procuring the uh, radars from various countries, you know, Israel, Russia, US, uh, Germany for that matter. So all these radars come with a different configuration specification and uh, managing those uh, uh, front end is a little difficult. So we have simulated all of these onto a software and this is an easier way of uh, for the armed forces to learn these uh, operation for these radars which is coming from various countries. So we also have another major product called ARTS, uh, Aircraft Recognition Trainer System. Again, uh, uh, this is again deployed on the border area uh, wherein the uh, uh, human or the armed forces who are sitting there and actually uh, looking at the uh, there are few aircraft which is not detectable by the radar because they are flowing at a very low altitude. So at that time the uh, border forces who are at the, uh, those areas, they have to visually see that and then recognize whether it's a friend That's or right. foe. Right? Right. So it's pretty difficult for them to keep uh, practicing these by actually looking at any real uh, aircraft. It's a once in a uh, blue moon opportunity. So we have simulated close to 200 odd various aircrafts with uh, flying in a various uh, uh, environment, you know, it could be rain, it could be snowing, harsh sun, desert area, mountainous area and all that. So these are again a simulation wherein uh, the armed forces can get trained in recognizing these aircrafts. So that's another which we have already deployed at various uh, uh, forces actually. Uh, close to 14 odd locations this has been available. So any equipment which needs to go into an aircraft before, so they are tested prior to uh, loading onto the aircraft, before it's airborne, uh, multiple tests are conducted using these test benches. We can take forward, uh, apart from the ruggedized containers, we take the uh, test benches, simulation softwares for them, and also uh, perform uh, various uh, simulations and uh, testing on these systems before they are airborne.